Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Short on the Clock by Adam Plays. Medium. Short on the Clock is my entry for the knock contest number three called Countdown, where you must make a map that's puzzle is to get to the exit within the time of a pedestal button. Short on the Clock is inspired by bootstrapping puzzles, but is not one. A map that is puzzle is to get to the exit. I think that- I think that apostrophe- I think... You know, this is a sort of weird gap in English. Like, you could say a map whose puzzle is, but a map isn't a who... I don't know. There's not a really good way to phrase that. I- I get what you're saying, though. Playtesting by literally no one. <laughs> well, that's funny, because I've heard that this map's kind of broken, but let's find out. Oh yeah, and there's no thumbnail. You can click on this, and it just- it just makes you look at nothing. There's no thumbnail. I don't even know how you can accomplish making a map with no thumbnail, but apparently you did. Let's check it out. Sounds like we've got some Harry Culligan music from Portal Stories Mel. We have some angled droppers, always a nice sight. What does this do? Square. Did I buy- have I seen square? I like how this is pre-gelled. That's a nice touch. Cause even though these haven't actually been turned on yet. But have I seen Square yet? Does this have signage? No. I guess this just is an auto-respawning cube. Is there a square around the corner? Ah, so Square is the exit. So let's go- let's go press a button and see how much time we actually have. I'm impatient, I'm impatient. Let's get up here, I'm impatient. There we go. Not much time at all. Wow, so we have to go from this portal surface through that portal surface. Hmm... So we can do that much, at least. Let's go around the corner. See what that's done for us. Not much, actually. Do I want to try and hit this as well? Perhaps. That might actually be a good idea. So what kind of angle we would need for that? Ooh, that's not good. Can't hit this and that at the same time. We have some cleansing gel, for some reason? Huh. Wonder what that's about. Let's see if we can figure out how to hit that. Probably... we can start by doing this, right? What? <laughs> what? Excuse me, Valve. What? What? Why would you do such a thing? That laser is bending so much. I think that is the most I've ever seen a laser bend. Holy crap! Well, actually, I think I've seen a laser bend more in one of the maps that Deathwish played once. Let's put this at the top. There we go. That's what I wanted to have happen. Holy crap! I have never seen anything like that before. Perfect. There we go. But man, that's, uh... I don't know how intended that is. I will refrain from doing it for now. Ah. Wait, what? How much signage was on that thing? Did I miss some signage here? I thought it was just an antline and a moon. There must not be enough room for all the signage to show. Because there's the two lights on either side. Why are those two lights on either side anyway? We have a lizard cube inside there now. Where's moon, though? Because over here is not moon. This is slash. That's moon. Okay, so we now got a laser cube in there as well. Interesting. We have a companion cube now. What would we use this for? There's no buttons in this map.
Huh? I'm really confused what we would use this companion cube for, because there is nowhere to put this. There are no buttons in this map. Why would we want to use that at all? I don't understand. Like, even if you got a cube slippery, there's no reason to unslipperify the cube unless you're trying to put it on a slope, and there's no slopes in this map. I mean, I guess technically the stairs... The stairs in, in B-Mod are a slope. Actually, no, these stairs aren't. Yeah, these stairs aren't even a slope either, so there's no slopes in this map. What's the deal with the cleansing gel? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Alright, well, let's just start hitting laser receivers. All the way around over here, and- oh, eh, don't kill me, please. Thank you. And then... What, I'll aim over here, I suppose? Like that. What turns off this fizzler? This thing does. Okay, so we want to do that first, probably. And then I can start messing around with other alternatives. Oh, that was weird. I thought it wasn't gonna go through the past this collision here. Also, is this another one that I can like jump on and like Yeah, you can walk on that if you jump high enough. That's so bizarre. It must be a B mod thing. Huh. We discovered that initially on the live stream. So what does this do exactly? There's another ant line. Why didn't this fizzler turn off? Oh, there's two there's two conditions. Oh. Well, wasn't that interesting? Huh. this for? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Am I supposed to, like, hit a cube with it? Like, knock a cube off of a cube stack? Why would I- why would I be stacking cubes, though? There's no reason to stack cubes in this map that, I know, that I'm aware of. Okay, new plan. We're gonna go the other direction. That should work. And then, I don't know what to do with this guy. Uh, I'll just leave him here for a moment. Let's go all the way back out here. Black portal there. Green portal there. Let's take this. So I can do that, interestingly enough. Wait, how do I turn off that fizzler again? Dot. Where's dot? I think that might be it. Yeah, that fizzler's off now. And what did the gel again? X. Uh right, right, that's that. Wait, what? How am I supposed to hit that normally though? I mean to like make a totem? I guess I could. The question is, where's the best place to do it? Which cube do I want to use to do it with? I guess, since I'm not using that cube, I can just take that, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and save here, perhaps.
I think what I wanna do... ...is place a portal... ...here. Oh, but then I can't do that. Uh... Oh, that's no biggie. Yeah, I can still fix that. Wait... I need two laser cubes out here, though. Can I just do this? Yes. Okay, never mind. Problem solved. Then I do that. Oh wait, no, I need all three laser cubes. Give me this. Get over here. Then I do this. And that. And the other thing. Right, so now I can point this. I have no idea. These aren't colored, so I have no idea which ones are which right now. But I need... I need to angle one of these. Like this. There we go. And then that. There we go. There we go. And somehow I broke the gel sounds by doing that. That is bizarre. I've never experienced the gel sounds not working. Huh. Right, well. Does that mean we're done? Potentially. Potentially. I suppose we should go find out, right? Not sure what we were supposed to use this companion cube for, but, uh, we have it. <laughs> nice to see that that bug's still in the game. Oh, come on now. Hey! Did it. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!